Knowing your future height must be on the list of the most important things to know in your life. Right after the time of your death. Well, to be honest, you're never gonna find out the time of your death. But the good news is, you're gonna die. What? Wow, man. Uh... But on the flip side, you can use scientific proven methods to know your future height. You can know factors that influence your height and which ones you have control over. So that's why today I'm going to go over these factors, a scientific proven height calculator. And by the end of the video, I'm going to give you pieces of advice passed on to me by my late uncle, Logan Freeman. Great guy. Off topic, can all of you guys just spam Logan Freeman in the comments? You will really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's start by knowing how increasing height even works. There are seven factors to increasing height. Three of them we don't have control over. Number one, genetic factors. Genetics plays an important role in determining a person's height. The height of your parents and grandparents is a good indication of your potential height. Though, genetics only determines 80% of a person's height. Second factor is growth plates. During childhood and adolescence, the long bones grow epithelial plates, also known as growth plates. This plates are areas of newborn growth located near the ends of long bones. Growth plates remain open during puberty but eventually close usually by the end of puberty. As a person grows, the cartilage in the growth plates ossifies, which means turns into bone, which adds length to the bone. Hormones like growth hormone, thyroid hormones, and sex hormones, no, not like that. These sex hormones, they also help in regulating activities done by the growth plates. Once these little plates close, you can no longer become taller. When does the male body stop growing? Generally, it's controlled by the epiphyseal growth plates. and for most men, um, 18 to 20 years of age, the epiphyseal bone plates have completely sealed and they've reached their full adult height. Factor number three, hormones. Hormones like growth hormone, thyroid hormone, and sex hormones help in cell growth, bone growth development, and growth spurts. If you want a video on hormones, feel free to comment. The last four factors that can be controlled and they work in your favor are nutrition. Eating a balanced diet and avoiding processed food will give you useful nutrients you need for growth. Nutrients like proteins, calcium, vitamin D, and vitamins and minerals. Second is physical activities. Getting off your lazy butt and doing physical activities like swimming, cycling, running, and sports can improve your overall health and stimulate growth. Exercises improve posture and stimulate growth hormone production. That's what we want, don't we? Number three, sleep. During sleep is when growth hormone is released. Aim for eight to nine hours of sleep for teens. Number four, environmental factors. Chronic illness and prolonged stress can negatively impact growth. Now that you have an idea of what factors play role increasing height, I have a scientific accurate calculator to determine your future height. Now, obviously this is just your parents' height, but there is other more factors. The link is down below. Now, to the pieces of advice passed on by my late uncle, Logan Freeman. Most people panic over their height, but something you should know is that height is not an important thing to how strong and successful you are going to be. Don't let something you have little control over worry you so much. You are given only one chance to life. You get one body. That's you. Why not love and appreciate who you are? You are an amazing human. It's like he's still here with me. Is this nigga?